Hey guys, how's it going? This is Michael. This is Kyle. And this is our trailer reaction review of Christopher Robin that will be coming out. Disney's Christopher Robin. I assume this is about Winnie the Pooh. Or yes. is it about the, the making of Winnie the Pooh? Or is it just a live action type of thing? Or I guess we'll have to see the trailer and find out. Yeah, that's true. Because I, I, I don't know. Um, I think from what I've heard, it's Christopher Robin grown up. I could be wrong. I think it's like all the all the, the Christopher car- Robin's the name of the kid in the Winnie kid, the Pooh, right? The, the actual human kid, yeah. Okay, okay. So he's okay. Gotcha. And then so so this isn't going to be like Finding Neverland, where you know Johnny Depp is is developing oh. the story of Peter Pan and Neverland. Just, and Pooh. Seen Finding it's actually really no, no, I, I saw it a long it. time it ago. Long I saw time. it a yeah, long time ago, too. and I remember it being Correct. pretty good. Yeah, um, I, I liked it. It was original. It was unique. I. Uh, no, I believe this is Christopher Robin the kid, but grown up, and all the cartoon or books or experiences happened when he was a kid with the animals. So awesome! I think that's what it. And that's then it. Uh, shout out to a subscriber, Billy Meacham, for uh, suggesting this to us. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We really uh, appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we're doing Christopher Robin because he asked us to do Christopher Robin. Yeah, anything you guys ask in the comments, we'll do it. Yep. We're desperate. <laughs> We're desperate. <laughs> well, if you guys help us out and let us know uh, what kind of trailers you guys want us to do, we'll definitely take the time to do it, and thank you for it. So, All right. Billy, thank you. Christopher Robin, trailer one. We've called an emergency meeting this weekend. I promised my wife and daughter I'd take them away this weekend, sir. We need to cut 20%. You were promised these people good jobs. And I thought you'd do anything for this company. Well, have a good time. What to do, what to do, what to do. For Robin. I've cracked. Oh, I don't see any cracks. A few wrinkles, maybe. That's super cute. That I mean, really it cute. looks cute. The guy who does Winnie the Pooh's voice sounds a million years old. Uh, is that the original voice? It sounds very similar. If not, it might be the original voice. The only thing I I know about like the voice and the characters or anything is the, like because I didn't watch the. I mean, I guess I did watch the cartoon when I was little, but mm-hmm. uh, but I don't really remember it at all. But everything I know is from Kingdom Hearts, so, like from playing the the Pooh chapters in Kingdom Hearts. So it sound. I mean, that sounds exactly. That's what Pooh sounds like. So is yeah. it the original guy? Probably, I would imagine, or a very competent voice impersonator. Huh. But. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, um, why didn't the uh, why didn't the uh, the bear eat the honey? What do you mean? Is that like because like it a- had poo in it? <laughs> anyway, I've been waiting the entire time to say that joke. Anyway, back to the trailer. Um, it looked really cool. I mean, it kind of looked almost like a ne- uh, Finding Neverland feel, except for when he said, "Oh, you're back." type of thing um because finding neverland as i repeat is almost kind of like the same way ish right. in that setup because he kind of discovers and sees the world around himself as P- peter pan and it gives him inspiration right. but that kind of looked like he had already known poo right. and like maybe it was a post thing like everybody well, so, knew poo. Okay. was that his imagination well so that's the other thing i was thinking is that is that his imagination so the meg when we did the meg trailer review I, uh the comments let us know that that's based actually based on a book so i ah. i didn't know that at the time and i guess the uh, the researcher for the book uh, spent like ten years researching megalodons before he actually wrote the book and everything. Wow. So it was like very, it was, it was really in depth. And so, that actually, I think, was a comment by another subscriber as well. And yeah. we will put their name down below, unless you remember their name. I have no idea. I don't remember their name, but we will but put their name down below it. and thank them for that fact. We appreciate um, that too. But so what I'm saying is like, I don't know if this is like, if it's like Winnie the Pooh canon that this is all in Christopher Robin's head. 
Mm. Like, this is him playing with his toys as a kid. Yeah. And now, because he's going, like, through a hard time in life, now he sees them again and talks and interacts with them. I don't know if it's canon that it, like, all actually really happened. Yeah. I don't know if this story is an original story or it's based on a book or something like that or a story from something else. So I don't I don't know what, like, anything about this all. Sure, the commenters will tell me on the bottom and I'll, or I'll look it up after this. But, yeah. but that's the thing. is like, I don't know what it's about. But you do kind of get the impression that maybe this is all in his head. Like, maybe yeah. he sees them. That's kind of what I... Coping. That was my initial take on it, was that Pooh was inside of his head. But I could... <laughs> well, now you said the Pooh joke. Now I just... Every time you say Pooh. He has Pooh between his ears. Pooh was, of course. Um, but no, but but like it, it makes you want... Like, I don't know if it's if it's yeah. if they're real. I don't know if it's in his head or not. I'm curious about it. I'm sure you guys are going to let us know below. If not, I'm going to do some research after this anyway to see kind of what the story arc is for uh, this movie upcoming. Um, How? What did you think of the visual effects for Pooh? I thought it looked really good. It looked really I homey. Really, I thought it looked really good too. What I'm curious is how they're going to do Tigger and how they're going to do like Eeyore and like yeah. like how they're going to look. Like that makes me really excited. It's like the uh, the. Uh, I mean, it could be one of those things where you know Pooh, you know Pooh comes out to the real world like that type of thing, and then he's like, "Come on, Christopher, come back with me." Right. And then maybe Christopher jumps into Pooh's universe, and like maybe it's a dual universe type of thing, and you're going back. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Well, if they, so the place that he lives is Hundred Acre Woods, right? That's, yeah, that's what I remember from from Kingdom Hearts. I see, but so is, that, like, is that the name could, of the real city, or, or is, is that, that the imagination, the imagination, thing imagination thing place? Yeah, okay. That's I, what I'm saying. I don't this, know. You this movie could know. go a billion different ways, but it, it looks really good. Like it's, it has a very somber tone about it. Like yeah, and it, it, really it could did. be really good. But yeah, I'm interested in like what the visuals are going to look like for all the other characters yeah. of this. And if they get their real voice actors, if that was the real voice I kind of like that iteration better than Ted. So this is like... Oh, yeah. Runs, no. So this is kind of like, basically, yeah. this is Ted, this Ted story as well. But in this one, Ted's not super gross and vulgar. But we also didn't get a very good look at Pooh in this one. Like, you know, yeah, like, we had like, a little bit. It, it wasn't... Yeah, but I'm pretty sure when Ted made his debut on a commercial, it was like, F you! Like well, that okay, type of right. Well, it's, so, it's, it's, it's Seth MacFarlane, so... Yeah. I mean, of course, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm, it looks good. I mean, it was for as much as we've seen, it felt like more like a teaser trailer than it really felt like an actual full length trailer. Yeah. So, but I don't know. I, w- I would have to see trailer two to really get like a firm grasp of what the idea is that they're, that they're going for here Yeah. and how much of the world takes place in either his imagination or with those characters and how much takes place in the corporate world and dealing with like what Christopher Robin's real world problems yeah, are. Yeah, 100%. And does that does the storyline of the real world problems manifest itself inside of the creation of Pooh and all his friends? Um, I think there's a lot of really cool places that this uh, movie can go. There's a, really, there's a lot of places that this movie can go. I'm curious to see what the actual course they took was. Yeah, no, me too. I just I, I want to see trailer two. I yeah. want to see what no one just. I mean, it looks good. And that's exactly what a trailer is designed to do: make you want to see trailer two or the movie I thought itself. It was, yeah, I just want to see the movie itself, not the next trailer. For the movie. Well, this next trailer is like a snack to the next movie. So yeah, if you guys know more about else. it, mention it in the comments because I I, yeah. I I don't know a lot about a lot about it other than when I've played on Kingdom Hearts. Anyway, guys, thank you guys very much for joining us uh, for this uh, Winnie the Pooh. No, not Winnie the Pooh. Christopher Robin. Yeah. Uh, trailer that we have uh, Billy again thanks a lot for the uh, uh, suggestion and a uh, person that told us the information about the Meg trailer we really appreciate that as well um, please comment like subscribe down below really helps us out we're starting you know getting the ball rolling again so we're pretty happy about it we were also trying to see how quick we can get to a thousand YouTube's being weird so make sure you ring that bell icon too and if you fight about the videos mm-hmm. and everything because I guess subscription or subscriptions just aren't enough anymore you actually have to do more to get Apparently not. Anyway, guys, thanks for so much for watching, and uh, we'll do it. We'll see you next video. <laughs> uh, and as always, well said, Michael. And as well always, said. this is Michael. This is Kyle. And this has been a critique on the universe of trailers. Later, guys.